In this question it says use e to the i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta to show that sine theta is 1 over 2i e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta. I'm not going to directly answer the question as such, but we're just going to spend some time looking at it in a bit more depth. Let's go back to the idea that cosine is an even function. So cosine of minus theta is equal to the cosine of theta. Let's now look at sine. Sine is an odd function. The sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine of theta. And we're going to use that right here. Firstly, we've got here e to the i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. Let's now look at e to the minus i theta. That's going to give us cosine of minus theta plus i sine of minus theta. Let's go ahead and start looking at our odd and even functions. So we can rewrite e to the minus i theta is going to be equal to cos theta. Hopefully you can see these two things are equal. Minus i sine of theta. So now let's look at the relationship that we've got now. We've got e to the i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. e to the minus i theta is equal to cos theta minus i sine theta. We're asked to show that sine theta is 1 over 2i e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta. And I'm going to do two different things here. Firstly, I'll show this one. And what we're going to do, we're going to subtract these away. So if I do now e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta, what we're going to have then is cos theta plus i sine theta minus cos theta minus i sine theta. Quite clearly now you can see what's going to happen here. We're going to have the cosines cancelling and we've got i sine theta minus minus i sine theta. So we can say e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta is going to be equal to 2i sine theta. Therefore we can write sine theta is going to be equal to e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta or over 2i. You may even quite frequently you might see it just left in the form above. I actually prefer working with it in this form and we'll show that very shortly. Now let's, we've done the question, let's move on. Let's now add them. e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta what we're going to get now is the following. We're going to get cos theta plus i sine theta plus cos theta minus i sine theta. So we've now found the following. The sines are going to cancel and we can say the following. We can say e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta is going to be equal to 2 cos theta Therefore, cos theta is going to be equal to e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta over 2. And that gives us another very important result. So there we go. That's how we can express that. So we've gone a bit beyond the question. Going back to this point right here, we can also, and just this is quite interesting, we can write 2i sine theta equal to z minus 1 over z and we will come to this later on in our course we can write 2 cos theta is equal to z plus 1 over z if you want to hit pause and spend some time thinking about that that will make quite a lot of sense because remember we can express z as equal to e to the i theta therefore z 1 over z it's going to give us z to the negative 1, and you can see exactly that this is going to give us e to the negative i theta. So later on, this will become quite an important result also. But for now, if you can understand the odd and even functions, that is fairly straightforward, and you can do it with both cosine and sine.